what's going on you guys, Ozone1414 here. Today I'm doing something called the Small YouTuber Tag. I was watching a video by Lilith Morning and she did this video and I thought it seemed pretty cool. So I wanted to try it. I'll leave a link down below to her channel. She didn't tag me in it, but I'm going to leave a link to her channel anyways because that's where I found the idea for this video. It's just some questions for small YouTubers such as myself, so let's just get to it. First question is, what inspired you to start making videos? Um, well, my, I have my channel since 2009. I didn't actually start making videos on a regular basis until I saw Anthony Rapino's uh, videos. And I've said this before, he's basically the main reason why I started doing this more on a regular basis. I know a lot of other people, you know, give him credit for that as well. I was watching a YouTube video and on the side they had the recommendations. And I think his video, one of his videos was over there and I clicked on it and then just watch, going through his videos watching them and I seen that he had some Box of Dread unboxing videos and that's basically where it started for me. Second question is, how long have you been on YouTube and have you had other channels? Well I just mentioned I have been on YouTube since 2009 and I just did a couple of quick random videos, they were nothing really special. Um, I don't remember, whenever I started doing my Box of Dread videos, is when I started doing it more on a regular basis. It's been a few years. And do I have other channels? At first I didn't think I did, but now I remember I do have one other channel that I, that I kind of work on here and there. It's basically just for like music videos, for like my friends' bands. And it's just, you know, videos I put together, you know, some graphics and I put the lyrics on the screen. It's nothing fancy. I think I currently have like four videos on that channel, so that's the only other channel that I have. Question number three, where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in five years? I, honestly, just being realistic, I'm probably going to be continue doing my videos. I'm going to do them for as long as I can. I don't really foresee my channel being really big in five years. I, I'm, I'm hoping people will subscribe to my channel. Uh, that's the whole point of people who make YouTube channels, that you want people to watch your videos, you hope they like what they see, and you want them to subscribe to you. But I'm realistic, and I, I know I'm, I'm not destined for a huge channel. So where do I see myself in five years? Probably, hopefully I got some, a little bit more subscribers. I mean, I don't foresee anything huge happening to my channel. Question number four, what message are you trying to get across with your videos? I'm not really trying to get any message across, except for my last video, which was the uh, stay positive video. But generally, I'm not trying to, you know, get any message across. I'm just doing what I like to do, and I'm hoping other people enjoy watching my videos. So there's no message. I'm not trying to preach anything. I'm just trying to have fun with this. Question number five, do people from school and work find your channel? People, everyone that I know, knows about my channel. Uh, they've seen my videos. My mom, I sent her my Cool Whip Cookie video that I did and she just called me right before I did this video and I asked her if she tried out those you know cookies because she said she was going to make them and she bought all the stuff to do it and she said she did and she said they turned out really good. I remember she tried the strawberry cake mix and my stepdad loved strawberry and she said that they really really liked them so yeah Everyone that I know, family, friends, whatever they know, I have a YouTube channel. Question number six, what does your username mean? My username is Ozone1414. Ozone is the name of an Ace Frehley song from his 1978 Kiss solo album. Um, it's not my favorite Ace Frehley song, but I really like the name. And 1414, 14 is my birth date, November 14th, it's my lucky number. So I didn't want to do just Ozone 14, so I did it twice, Ozone 1414. 14. So there's really no deep meaning behind my username. Question number seven, favorite small YouTuber? I really don't have a specific particular channel, small YouTuber that I, that's my favorite. I like everyone, that whole little community, unboxing community that I'm a part of. Everyone brings something different to the table and I, you know, like what everyone does. So. I don't really have one particular favorite. Now these are some extra questions that they added on. Uh, the first one is, name two things you learned as a YouTuber. First thing I learned was that making videos is a lot harder than I thought they would be. And that's not a complaint, I'm not complaining at all. I just didn't realize, you know, if you want to do your videos halfway decent, uh, I didn't realize the work that went into it. The, I like, you know, setting all this stuff up is one thing and then you know the whole editing process 
Uh, I like my intros, my graphics, stuff like that. So, like I said, it's not a complaint. I just didn't realize how much I actually went into it. If you want to do a decent job, and sorry about the noise out there. It's literally like a truck stop out there. Semis going back and forth all day long and night. Oh, and the other thing that I learned, um, appreciate what you have and not worry about what you don't have. And that's more specifically talking about subscribers. Again, I mentioned in my Stay Positive video, uh, I try to appreciate what I do have. I have like 480 some odd subscribers and I know it's not a lot but for me when I sit and think about it I mean that's 480 people who actually who like my videos apparently enough to subscribe to my channel and they like what I do so I really do appreciate that and I'm trying to learn to not worry so much about not having a ton of subscribers if it happens, it happens. That's awesome. But if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. I'm still going to continue making my videos. So I'm just trying to appreciate what I do have and not worry so much about what I don't have. Uh, the second uh, extra question is, what camera and editing software do you use? My camera, I had to write it down, it's a Samsung ST72 16.2 megapixel digital camera. It's nothing fancy. One thing I'm disappointed about with this camera is it doesn't really show up close like if I hold something up close to the camera it doesn't really pick up detail too much but it's not a bad camera I really want to get one that has one of those flip viewfinders and as far as the uh, editing software that I use for my videos I use Coral Video Studio and Windows Live Movie Maker and the final question is what do you love most about YouTube uh, I again I said this in my stay positive video that I love that I've been able to talk to some really cool people on YouTube. I've been able to make some really cool friends. And without these videos that I do, none of that would be possible. So for that alone, I love YouTube. So that's it for the questions. All finished. Now I'm not going to tag anyone specifically to do this video. If you're watching this, then I tag you to do it. So if you're a small YouTuber, feel free to do this video. Uh, send me the link. I would love to check it out when you do it. So. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.